the DNA opens a new mystery into our human ancestors. Scientists expected the bone to share the DNA of Neanderthals, but it's closer to the Denisovans who lived in Siberia. Scientists drilled into a 40,000-year-old fossil. What they pulled out wasn't just ancient DNA, it was a blueprint that defies evolution as we know it. This genetic code belonged to the Denisovans, a mysterious group of archaic humans who were our cousins, but their DNA is packed with bizarre secrets, including genetic superpowers that modern humans still carry today. The results of the full genome sequencing were so baffling that they force us to ask a terrifying question. Who or what were they really? The official story is not the whole story. Decoding the Unthinkable in 2008, in a remote cave nestled in the Altai Mountains of Siberia, a team of archaeologists was digging through layers of ancient dirt. This place, known as Denisova Cave, is a natural time capsule sitting over 4,500 feet above sea level where the freezing temperatures preserve history for millennia. For years, they had found typical artifacts, stone tools, animal bones, the usual signs of early human life. Then they found something that looked like nothing at all. It was a tiny fragment of bone from the tip of a pinky finger. To the naked eye, it was completely unremarkable, easily lost or discarded. Many people are crazy about big, flashy discoveries, like full skeletons or giant skulls. But the most shocking fact is, sometimes the biggest secrets come in the smallest packages. They sent this tiny bone to the world-famous Max Planck Institute in Germany, a place where they can pull secrets out of ancient dust. What they expected to find was DNA from either a Neanderthal or an early modern human, the only two groups thought to have lived in that area at that time. What they found instead sent a shockwave through the entire scientific community. The DNA was different. It didn't match anything on record. It wasn't Neanderthal, it wasn't human, it was something else entirely. You see, this tiny, forgotten bone belonged to a young girl from a completely new branch of the human family tree. They named her people the Denisovans, after the cave where her story was finally unearthed after 50,000 years of silence. The initial mitochondrial DNA test was just the beginning. The real bombshell came when they managed to sequence her entire nuclear genome. The thing nobody tells you is how incredibly difficult this is. Ancient DNA is fragile, shattered into tiny pieces, and often contaminated. But the team, led by the legendary scientist Svante Peabo, performed a miracle. They stitched together a nearly complete genetic blueprint. And that's when things went from strange to downright nonsensical. The Denisovan girl's DNA was separated from modern humans by about 400,000 years of evolution. They were a sister group to the Neanderthals, but their own path was far more mysterious. What many overlooked in the excitement of the discovery was just how vast their world was. Denisovan DNA wasn't just in this one Siberian cave. Traces of it began appearing all over the globe, from the high altitude plateau of Tibet to the tropical islands of Southeast Asia. How could a ghost species known only from a few tiny bones and a tooth have spread so far and wide? Their physical appearance was a complete mystery, but the DNA offered tantalizing clues. It suggested they had dark skin, dark hair, and dark eyes. But the code also hinted at a robust build, far stockier than modern humans, with a massive jaw and teeth that had no human equivalent. They were built for a tougher, more brutal world. This wasn't just another fossil. This was the discovery of a third kind of human, a shadow lineage that walked the earth alongside our ancestors. And the more scientists looked at their bizarre DNA, the more questions they had. The code was full of contradictions and surprises, painting a picture of a people who shouldn't exist, at least not according to our neat and tidy story of evolution. But what the full DNA sequence showed was even more impossible. A third branch of humanity. When scientists finally had the full Denisovan genome laid out, they were looking at a biological blueprint that broke all the rules. To put it mildly, the results were baffling. The code contained genes that gave the Denisovans abilities that sound like something out of a comic book. One of the most stunning examples is a gene called EPAS1. Many people are crazy about stories of superpowers, but this was real. 
EPAS1 is known today as the super athlete gene because it allows the body to function efficiently in low oxygen environments. It's the reason why modern day Sherpas can climb Mount Everest with relative ease. And you can see this everywhere among high altitude populations. The thing is, modern humans living in Tibet got this gene from one place, the Denisovans. They were living and thriving at altitudes of over 13,000 feet in conditions that would make a modern person from sea level critically ill. How did they evolve such a perfectly tuned adaptation? That was just the start. Their immune system was on another level. The Denisovan genome contained variants of genes that gave them a hyper-aware defense against a huge range of viruses and pathogens. You see, when they were living in Asia, they were exposed to countless local diseases that our human ancestors, fresh out of Africa, had never encountered. Their DNA was a fortress, built and refined over hundreds of thousands of years. It's no surprise then that some of the most potent immune system genes found in people from Southeast Asia and Papua New Guinea are a direct inheritance from their Denisovan ancestors. These weren't just random mutations. This was a genetic toolkit so perfect for its environment, it was almost unnerving. It was as if they were bioengineered for survival. And here's where it gets even weirder. In that same Siberian cave, another bone fragment was found. When they tested this one, the lab results must have seemed like a mistake. The DNA belonged to a teenage girl who had lived around 90,000 years ago. Her genome showed that her mother was pure Neanderthal. But her father, Mo, he was pure Denisovan. This girl, nicknamed Denny, was a first-generation hybrid. The two most famous archaic human groups weren't just neighbors, they were interbreeding. This discovery was a bombshell because it proved that these different human species were not only meeting, but also having viable children together. Our family tree wasn't a tree with neat branches at all. It was a tangled, messy web of interactions that we are only just beginning to understand. The existence of Denny proved that the ancient world was a much stranger and more connected place than we ever dared to imagine. And the scariest part? Their DNA is still inside us today. Ghost genes in the modern world. The discovery of the Denisovans wasn't just about finding a new type of ancient human, it was about finding a ghost inside ourselves. The most shocking fact is that for huge populations of people alive today, the Denisovans never truly left. Their genetic echo is written into the DNA of billions. What many overlooked at first was the sheer scale of this inheritance. While most people of non-African descent carry about 1-2% to Neanderthal DNA, the Denisovan legacy is far more concentrated and in some ways more powerful. Modern people from Melanesia, a region that includes Papua New Guinea and surrounding islands, carry the highest percentage of Denisovan DNA on Earth, somewhere between 4 and 6%. That's a staggering amount of genetic material from a group we didn't even know existed just over a decade ago. You see, this isn't just a fun fact for a genetics textbook. These ghost genes have real-world consequences. Scientists have linked this Denisovan inheritance to a whole suite of traits. As we mentioned, it gave Tibetans the ability to breathe in the thin mountain air. In modern Papuans, it's linked to an incredibly fine-tuned ability to sense subtle smells. Other Denisovan genes found in modern humans are related to how our bodies regulate fat and temperature, likely helping our ancestors survive in new and challenging climates as they spread across the globe. We are carrying the survival kit of a lost world. The thing nobody tells you is that it wasn't just one group of Denisovans either. The story gets even more complex. By analyzing the different fragments of Denisovan DNA in modern populations, scientists have realized there wasn't just one Denisovan lineage. There were at least three distinct groups, as different from each other as modern Europeans are from East Asians. One group lived in Siberia, another left its mark primarily in the people of East Asia, and a third, very different group, passed its genes to the people of Melanesia and Australia. This means the Denisovans were not a small, isolated band of strange humans. They were a vast and diverse people who had conquered Asia long before Homo sapiens ever arrived. They were the original inhabitants of nearly half the planet. And when our ancestors finally met them, the interactions must have been complex and happened over thousands of years and in multiple different places. So what does this all mean? The truth is stranger than anyone imagined. The final verdict. 
so how do we make sense of all this? A ghost species with superhuman abilities, a tangled family tree of hybrids, and a genetic legacy that stretches across the globe. It sounds like something straight out of science fiction, like a lost race of ancient superhumans hiding in our DNA. And honestly, that's what makes it so fascinating. When people hear these discoveries, their minds race to the wildest possibilities. Ancient aliens, secret civilizations, or some kind of long-forgotten experiment in genetic engineering. But the truth, as strange as it sounds, doesn't need those theories to be incredible. The real story is already unbelievable enough. The reason this discovery feels so shocking isn't because it's unnatural. It's because it forces us to admit that our old view of human evolution was way too simple. For generations, scientists painted a neat linear picture, primitive cavemen gradually evolving into modern humans. But the Denisovans blew that picture apart. They showed us that the truth was messy, unpredictable, and far more interesting. Human evolution wasn't a clean staircase. It was a web of connections, full of detours, collisions, and exchanges. We didn't just replace other species, we mixed with them. We shared ideas, tools, and even children. Think about that for a second. For thousands of years, our ancestors weren't alone. They lived side by side with other kinds of humans, intelligent, skilled, and incredibly adapted to their environments. The Denisovans weren't some inferior species hiding in caves. They were survivors who thrived in brutal high altitude regions that would kill most people today. The genes they passed down helped modern Tibetans and Sherpas breathe in thin air that would make the rest of us dizzy. That's not myth or legend. That's hard science, written into the DNA of millions of living people. And those so-called superhuman traits? They weren't created in a lab or gifted by space visitors. They were earned the hard way through evolution's harshest lessons. The Denisovans didn't get to choose their conditions. They faced freezing winds, food shortages, and deadly diseases. The ones who couldn't adapt simply didn't make it. Over countless generations, their survivors became perfectly tuned to their environment. What we see today isn't the mark of divine design, it's the end result of endless trial and error, an evolutionary masterpiece sculpted by time and struggle. When we look at the Denisovans' DNA, we're not looking at something alien. We're looking at the raw history of adaptation, survival, and change. Evolution doesn't follow a script. It doesn't care about perfection or purity. It only cares about what works. The Denisovan genes that live on inside us are proof of that. They are nature's receipts, showing what strategies succeeded in the long, violent experiment of existence. And here's the part that changes everything. We weren't special. For most of human history, Homo sapiens were just one of several intelligent species sharing this planet. We weren't alone at the top of the food chain, and we definitely weren't the only ones capable of complex thought or emotion. We met Neanderthals, we met Denisovans, and when those encounters happened, the result wasn't just conflict, it was connection. The discovery of Denny, the hybrid girl with a Denisovan father and a Neanderthal mother, proves this beyond doubt. She's not a myth or a guess, her bones are real, her DNA is real, and her existence rewrites everything we thought we knew about what it means to be human. Imagine what that world looked like. Groups of humans, different yet similar, crossing paths in forests, mountains, and valleys. They exchanged knowledge, shared tools, and sometimes shared love. These weren't alien creatures, they were part of our extended family. Every child born from those unions carried a mix of traits that would ripple through time, shaping the abilities, appearances, and resilience of future generations. Without them, we wouldn't be who we are today. That's what makes this discovery so profound. It's not about one superior species taking over, it's about survival through connection. It's about how our ancestors didn't just conquer, they absorbed, learned, and adapted. The Denisovan legacy is proof that humanity's true strength lies in diversity. We are not pure descendants of one ancient line. We are a mosaic, a living archive of every encounter, every challenge, every act of survival that came before us. The Denisovans are gone, but their secrets live on inside of us. Does this discovery mean we need to redefine what it even means to be human? Let us know your thoughts below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more mind-blowing stories from our hidden past.